up boys what up girls ghouls and ghastlies we're back for another episode of all right guys i think i need to call 911 all right uh just this is the end of the episode sorry oh he stops jesus christ i thought i was gonna have to call the ambulance on oh yeah sorry that's what happens my acid reflux works up just like stomach acid just like it's like jesus somebody call somebody somebody call somebody Dude, you have a phone in your hand. I can't even bring myself to do it. I'm so panicked. God damn it. Alex. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, in that intro, I think we discovered pronouns that we could use for all those people. Because you said, well, welcome, uh, gentlemen, ladies, and you. Uh, ghouls and ghouls, gas. Ghouls and gas. Yeah. Or ghast, like G-A-H-S-T. Like ghast? Yeah, like I said. I said actually, that's a... That's a I feel like I did that in one of our. Uh, in, uh, you you did it in a title. Yeah, one of our descriptions or something like that in our episodes. I think. No, no, it's your new description that I have, or you have in every episode. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to keep it, keep it fresh. It's a very Halloweeny. Uh, We're spoopy. <laughs> We're spoopy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now. Oh, we can be Sandy, dude. Because she's probably the trying tales to get a, trying of to get a view of that like cheek. Sonic. <laughs> um. Yeah, so now people that don't like the his, him, her, she pronouns, I'm just, we'll call you ghouls. Hey, ghouls. Hey, ghouls. The ghasts. Whatever one of you like. Yeah, you just pick one. <laughs> <laughs> ghouls and ghasts. Has to be those two, though. Can't call you anything different, because I don't want to spend the time to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's mostly people's problems. Oh, yeah, that's, they're, like, they're like, I don't, I don't want to use different pronouns. It's like, why? Because you don't give a shit? <laughs> it's like, I, don't, I just don't want to fucking care. That I don't care enough to just fucking change the way I talk talk about somebody every time they wanted to be called something special. It's like, wow, so you're an asshole. <laughs> it's just basically like, oh, can, uh, hey, man, can you go check something in the back for me? It's like, uh, excuse me, you could just not call me man. Oh, I'm sorry. I okay. I respect people's pronouns. What What do you want me to call you? Ghast. Uh, majesty. Your, your Majesty. Your Majesty. Uh, King Shitter. <laughs> King Shitter. <laughs> King Shit McQueef. It's like uh, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> uh, you work at a, you, a public service. I mean, you deal with people, customers. I don't think I can call you that. It's like licensing. This is King Shit McQueef. <laughs> <laughs> How can I help you today? <laughs> Oh, y yes, King Shit McQueef. And I'm then... just having a problem with my account. <laughs> so there's like their young daughter right next to him. The, the, mm -hmm. the mother just like winks and gives a thumbs up. He's like, yeah, you did it, mom. You did it. You said hey, something. for the people. <laughs> you respect everybody from all different shapes and sizes. Oh, Sandy Cheeks need to get them ticked. And... Do you know, did you know apparently hooligan is a racist word? What? Really? Oh, yeah, I just found that out today. Well, I, don't, I mean, I don't know why it's racist. There's so, well, you know what though? I'll tell you what. That's the hard part of like, of like words. There's so many words that like you use. Like some people can just use today, and you're thinking, oh, it's perfectly fine. But like if you don't know the history behind it, then you're like, oh god, it is. Pr every, there's it's like it's like there's so many things that just have like a hint of problematic to it. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. Oh, oh here we go. The itis. I don't know what that is. Damn it. So the itis, I guess I never heard of this phrase. It's more commonly known as a food coma. This yep, that's me. <laughs> this phrase directly alludes to the stereotype of laziness associated with African Americans. Jesus God. <laughs> just, I don't fucking know. Just, just, just give him a break. <laughs> I guess the word uppity. I've heard that. I've heard that is one before. Is a racist one? Yeah, so you, I've, I've actually, I actually have heard that one, I believe. Uh, in 2011, Rush Limbaugh uh, po <laughs> pontificated that a NASCAR audience booed Michelle Obama because she exhibited uppityism. Glenn Beck even defending him or defended him, citing the first lady's love of arugula. What? I mean, who doesn't? Right? Yeah, who doesn't like fucking arugula? I don't. Is, are, is liking arugula racist? Is that, like, 
liking chicken to white people? No, it's it, people? it's like it's like it's an insult because it's like, uh, oh, they like arugula. They're fancy. Ooh. Oh. Like, oh my god, you're like trying to kale? get yeah, you're trying to get people shit because they have like taste in vegetables. Eat a dick. <laughs> what the I guess you just eat a T-bone steak like me, you piece of shit. Like you're American man, shit. I never even heard of this phrase, peanut gallery. I think I've heard of it, but I don't know what what context you use it. Oh yeah, it, it's like it's like it's like it's like someone who's uh I I've, I've actually oh, wait is is that problematic? Cause I've used that too. <laughs> <laughs> You've been racist and you didn't even know. It. Yeah, I thought because like it's like tell it to the peanut gallery is like is like. Well, okay, this phrase intends to reference hecklers or critics, usually yep. ill-informed ones. Yeah. In reality, the peanut gallery names a section in theaters, usually the cheapest and worst, where many black people sat during the era of vaudeville. Vaudeville? Vaudeville. Vaudeville. If it's not directly racist, it's uh, classist and rude at the very least. So, all you guys need to think of a new term when you, uh, trying to use peanut gallery. Uh, like... The dick zone. You ill-informed peasants! You could say that. Can I say the dig zone instead? <laughs> yeah, you can say the dig zone, but tell it to the dig zone. But you'd be referring to the peanut gallery. <laughs> you'd just be renaming the peanut gallery <laughs> dig zone. <laughs> God, he can't win these days. I'm telling no, you. No, you can't. We basically, I'd rather just go mute and live in the fucking ground underneath the ground, like a mole rat. Just like start up, start a bloodline, so we could just be naked mole rat people. Wouldn't it be fun? As long as we can, like, have cable and internet and games, dude. Dude, we should... This is what we should do. We should build an underground, like, series of houses. And then we just live in the ground. We'll be the mole people. Hell yeah. Or shires, at the very least. We build a bunch of shires yeah, that are built into hills. And then we just gotta break each other's kneecaps so we're like hobbits. Huh? And then take our feet and surgically apply it to our knees. Or just, like, have really bad gout so the swelling just gets out of control. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of tall people with, like, water just, like, <laughs> just huge swelled, le swelled up legs. Like, what's wrong with them? Just don't look at them. No fluid retention. <laughs> yeah. They're just, they could have easily just been living in shires, but they had to take it too far. It's like, they, they call them the gouts. <laughs> <laughs> We're a race of hobbits. <laughs> Like, a excuse me, the gout, that's, uh, pretty racially charged. <laughs> Somebody, uh, have you tried, have you thought about being prescribed Lasix or anything like that to get rid of that swelling? Oh, no, this is purposeful. It's like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> What's wrong with my swelling? <laughs> What's wrong with my legs? This is how I was born, thank you. Maybe huh. he was born with it. Maybe it's surgical. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's swelling. Uh, paddy wagon. Another racial Oh, uh, yeah, I, heard, I, knew, I knew that one. Knick-knack paddy wagon. Give or your dog a whack. Or is it paddy whack? Okay, paddy whack. Never mind. I was going to say that childhood songs. Racist. I mean, it's probably, uh. They probably got the term from that. So, in modern slang, paddy wagon means a police car. Paddy originated in the late 1700s. I a remember? shortened term or form of Patrick. So, paddy. Paddy, so we can call Patrick in this game paddy now. Uh, <laughs> and then later a uh, pejorative term for any Irishman. Wagon naturally refers to vehicle. Obviously, okay. Either stemmed from a large. So they're just saying the Irish police officers. I guess they're saying Irish people are rowdy. So, paddy wagon. I, I mean, if you mean fun, I guess. Bugger. Bugger is racist. Bugger. Like, you know how English people say bugger? Your little bugger. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what I'm saying? I'll take it. <laughs> Roll with it. So, so give me the context. Uh, you call this, you used to call this somebody, you're accusing them of being a sodomite, at least according to the original meaning. The term steamed or stemmed from uh, Bogomils, who led a religious sect during the Middle Ages called Bulgaris. Through various is languages, that, the term more. Is that really like, related to Bulgarians? Oh, shit. Where's the Bulgarians from again? Bulgaria. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought, was, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> I thought the Bulgarians were like some race and some fantasy literature that no, I'm not man, sure. No, man, dude, one of my good friends is Bulgarian. Okay. Yeah. Hung Hungarian. Dude. 
Well, maybe, maybe both. I don't even know. Like, you know, I this talk should about ask an Bulgarians makes me very Hungarian. <laughs> Just the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we finally got it to the, the cream, the crap. What I was trying to get to, hooligan. <laughs> oh yeah, I totally forgot. <laughs> You're like, why the fuck did Mike bring up this shit? Yeah, was, I'm just thinking to myself, it? man, can this guy not think of anything like lighthearted for Christ's sake? <laughs> it's very lighthearted because this is the past and he's grown from this. Oh shit, I hate these kind of levels, where it's like there's, there's just like M- yeah, they just fall and die yeah, you all just the time. Fall into the man, universe. the loading time in this area better be fucking phenomenally fast. <laughs> oh look at this piece of shit. Oh, hey there, son. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Sandy E N N. Oh, that's 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 northwest south and east. So hooligans it just refers to really rowdy Irishmen. They used to be really rowdy at sports events and stuff like that. So that's why that's so uh, mean. Racist. Again, fun people. Yeah, fun people that like to have fun by destroying shit. Or something. Hey, love them. That's why these protesters are doing it. They're just having fun. I mean, fun fighting the system. Get them. Yeah, man. Well, at least they're making it fun. I mean, somebody's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. All right, here we go. I sh- probably should be SpongeBob for this, I think. Why? Why do you have to be SpongeBob? I don't think I have to be, but there might be like a thing about it where like, because I think those karate chopping areas or something you need to be SpongeBob for. Oh, sorry, but your hands are tied. Nailed it. Yeah, see how there's like... But there's probably something over there I gotta get to. Hmm. Well, I know you could jump down. There's like something... Like at least like... Like exactly underneath this platform. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Oh, hell yeah. yeah there's like nothing around there, though. Ah! I love the ultra realistic hand is whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just fix this right here. Let me take care of this blemish. I call your play style. <laughs> it's like wow, he's a blemish user. What does that mean? It means he sucks and he just keeps playing until he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the word blemish has racist origins? <laughs> this was for the two thousand early two thousand and twenties for really bad video gamers. <laughs> here we what, go. what do you think? You think we're ever going to be considered something on, at the level of racism due to the progression of people just all, always getting more PC? Like, what what, if, what do they call gamers that could be considered, like, pretty, like, ooh, jeez, I can't believe they used to do that. Well, you know what, though? There are still, like, a group of people in the video gaming community that are still, like, super, like, toxic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You say that like it's not, like, a realized thing. It was like the majority of gamers. Yeah, who are all just pieces of shit. <laughs> like people that were just like, I'm even victim of it. When I, I don't like losing games. So sometimes when I'm losing a game, I'll be like. Salty. Oh my God. <laughs> Especially if it's multiplayer. It's like, oh, they're hacking. Mm-hmm. Or this game is bullshit because reason A. I mean, if it's League of Legends, it probably is bullshit. <laughs> this kid right over here. This kid playing the Spongebob game. Is uh he just hates League of Legends? He, you know, I would Jesus. consider I would consider him, ah! oh, no. I would consider him a pretty like competitive person. Like he doesn't give up either. He's pretty uh, relentless when it comes to like completing a game. Or he has a pre- he has a thick skin. All right, but thick thighs and killing guys. Oh, Let's go back. Thick <laughs> thick, thick thighs and killing guys with the grip that I have. I, I, just, I was just going towards, like, you just sitting on, I don't know why, but sitting on their penises and just, like, destroying them with your thighs. I mean, I do, that that's Nicole's favorite part of me. <laughs> the fact that you can kill a man by sitting no, on his No, 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 I have thick, I have thick ass thighs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that her favorite part? I, that's what she says. <laughs> it's insulting, but at the same time, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, but League of Legends is not his bread and butter for some reason. He just, it's for some reason, that game out of all the games I've ever seen him play gets to him. It's, it does. It's it's a hard pill to swallow. You know what else is a hard pill to swallow? The end of an episode? Why do you got to? I, 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 you're supposed to say something else. I'm supposed to say, no, Alex. I can't help it, man. I just know. I got, when you know, you know, I guess. I know you, Michael. I know how you do things. Don't sit on me with your thighs, please! 
Doing. <laughs> Doing. <laughs> he just sent him my dick. <laughs> like, ah! He was like, fucking. All right, that that's enough. Of uh. Am I dying? The thigh penis talk. Fine. Every episode is just the same thing. Just <laughs> dicks and wieners. <laughs> Dude, I think I've seen. Can you see uh, SpongeBob's uh, butt? Um, yeah, man. Look right at there. <laughs> He's got a little thick ass. <laughs> Dude, he can totally sit on some dicks, bro. All right, man. <laughs> on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, males, females, uh, ghouls, and ghasts. See? I'm including you guys. <laughs> All right, shit. <laughs> you, you guys. No! <laughs> Alright, see ya. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> you were terrible. <laughs>